Hey, it's Dr. Matt. Welcome to podcast four. If you've noticed, I'm the same height as Dr. Maurer. I'm not actually the same height as Dr. Maurer. It's uh, the ruse, so to yes. speak. So today we're going to be talking about. <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about uh, the food and coat drive, which Dr. Maurer is going to uh, touch on, and then after that we're going to talk about uh, staying warm in the in the cold outside. That's right. Yeah, I was going to mention a few things, actually. First thing, uh, I was going to encourage everybody to stay connected what, to what we're doing out at the Wentzville office. We have a newer uh, mm -hmm. Facebook page out there. You can find it at Midwest Family Wellness West. Uh, we have a yoga night coming up. We have a few other cool events going on, so make sure you connect on there. And like Dr. Matt mentioned, we've started our food and coat drive. Food and coat drive, so right there. Make sure you bring in your non-perishable goods, any coat you find laying around that you don't use anymore, bring those in. We actually just decided to extend the date. So we're gonna run this now until the middle of December. You can bring these in. Now, we encourage you to bring everything in out of the goodness of your heart, but we're also giving a little bit of motivation. Anybody who brings in these goods will get tickets towards a raffle, basically. Mm -hmm. Uh, to where you can win a one-hour massage. Yeah, we're giving away three massages. Just a little extra motivation. Coats, obviously a big deal right now. In case you haven't noticed, it's a little bit cold. I think it was 23 degrees when I left the house this morning. My kind of weather. Yeah. So we're seeing people bundling up. We're seeing people grow sweet, sweet beards. <laughs> Much true. like this it's beard true. you see here. And I'll let, kind of let Dr. Matt let you know, he'll kind of talk about why he has that nice looking beard and why it's important to stay warm right now. Yeah, so uh, if you notice, over the last couple of months, I've been growing a beard, and that's really for, uh, Dr. Josh and I go hunting in the, uh, during hunting season, uh, December 15th, or November 15th, I think this year. Mm -hmm. And part of it is, is I don't like to have um, too much on my face. I don't like wearing those entire things that cover your face, so I grow this instead of wearing a uh, camouflage mask. Um, the reason why that is because it helps keep that heat in my face and it allows me to stay out longer. So the reason behind that is uh, vasoconstriction and vasodilation and the, that relates to keeping heat in the core of your body. So um, when your mom or dad tells you to bundle up before you go outside, the reason for that is because your body will actually keep the heat um, closer towards your, your core. Um, now the, re the way that that happens is uh, uh, chemicals flood into the system uh, and kind of tell the smooth muscles of the uh, large arteries and uh, small arterioles uh, to constrict and keep that blood closer. So um, it's really important for your body not to work so hard and it's really important for you to actually bundle up. Um, the opposite occurs in vasodilation all right, and that allows the kind of the, the blood to go all the way through uh, and kind of release some of that heat. So if you've noticed, you kind of your, your feet have probably been a little bit colder uh, this time of year. And the reason why is because it's the furthest thing away from your body. And um, relatively speaking, it doesn't really require that much maintenance. So um, cold feet. So you make sure you put on some uh, warm socks um, and make sure you bundle up when you go outside. So appropriate fitting gloves, appropriate scarf. Um, I like to wear skull caps all the time. Um, and then something that keeps the wind from taking the, the heat away from your body because um, you don't want too much of uh, the wind getting into the, the cracks and crevices if you don't have your shirt tucked in or, or your coat zipped up. So Maurer thinks that's funny, the cracks and the crevices. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, so that is our podcast for this week. Yeah, do we um, need to announce it? Yeah, the, the, winners? The, the winner for last week was Becky Enlow. Is that right? Yeah, Peggy's giving me the nod. So that's Becky Enlow won last week, and she, uh, she said, don't judge me. So this week, the catchphrase is, it's cold outside. It's cold All right? outside. It is cold Remember outside. That. Write it down. Tell Peggy. Make it happen. <laughs>